So, okay, so I was at a church recently. Um, I went to uh, uh, help out with a, a street cleaning thing, like they went out and, and cleaned the streets, and I, and I was asked if I would like to join, and I'm not really a Christian, but, but I believe in a higher power, and I'm going through a lot of spiritual changes right now, so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'd love to. That sounds like a really noble thing to do. So I went with them, and we went and cleaned the streets, and I came back, and we're all hanging out at this church, and they fed us, and there's all sorts of food and stuff around, and and I'm walking through the hallway, and I see this, this pamphlet thing, this magazine, um, it says, Darwin's Dangerous Doctrine, and has this monkey, you know, putting his hand up in the air, like, yeah, and, uh, and it, and it really suddenly occurred to me, you know, I needed to, I needed to pick this up and read it, and, um, here's the thing, uh, I'm all for creation being taught alongside evolution in school, I'm all for that. And I understand that, uh, on some level, evolution's a theory, but it's a really, really, really well-supported theory. And I know that there's a lot of... There There are holes. There are holes. I will... Granted, there's holes. Because, uh, like, for example, the argument I was given is basically you have, um, uh, um... I think it's something like an amoeba, but it, what was it? It was something smaller. Some, it's, it's supposed to be the first living organism that basically... Um, um, there's a word for it, but it basically means that it gets its nutrients from other living organisms. And the question about that that's really interesting um, is that if, it, if it's the first organism but it gets its nutrients from other living organisms, where did it get its nutrients when there were no other living organisms? And and that's that that is a conflict that really that really um, challenges this picture. But at the same time, um, we can't argue that things evolve. And while maybe it's not, uh, maybe Darwin's theory was just a theory, and it's all just a theory. But you know, so is God. So, um, it's, it's all about what you're choosing to believe. And it's also about, you know, looking through the evidence that you have and deciding for yourself. But what really bothers me about this, it's not that it's, um, it's not that they're talking about their idea openly. It's that, and, and it bothers me for the other side of things, with atheists as well, is that they're calling each other dangerous. Something like an idea is dangerous. Okay, it's not dangerous. It's just an idea. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt you. And people, whether they're taught it in schools or not, are smart enough to think for themselves. If you're not smart enough to think for yourself, does it really matter what they teach you in school? That's all.